Okay, we're at the King's Course and I am trying to find out where I need to pay. <laughs> but there is no club rooms here. So I'm going to read this sign and find out what tea box we start on or where exactly is the first tea. But I've got to say, this here look at this, hey, two thousand and twelve. This is opened by Bob Charles. Um, yeah, this looks, well, Kings Golf Club, only 20 bucks, you play nine holes, $30 if you're going to play 18, looks in pretty good nick, what stunning views, oh wow, let's get my clubs, okay, we've sorted ourselves out, uh, we paid our twenty dollars. Look at this. Trundlers are there. This looks like the first tea box. And looks like we're going up the hill. I just got to find out how far it is. I've got no card here to tell me what I'm doing. So, let's have a look and see how this goes. Oh, here we go. Par four, hole number one. 232 metres. All right, this is our starting point. Let's enjoy ourselves. Hard not to, look at those views. Fantastic. It's only like five minutes from where I was staying. Amazing. Undiscovered. Well, for me anyway. First time up here. Let's do this. pretty awesome. I've got the course to myself. It's dead silent. Never played here before. And uh, so far it's looking pretty amazing. Just at these views. Check out the view. Except for my huffing and puffing. You'll have to excuse that. <laughs> Only way I can improve. Let's get fitter. Let's do this. Okay, that was a quick wee hike. Here's my ball. I cannot tell you how far I am because there is no yardage stick. But we're looking uphill. I'm just going to have to guess this one. It's looking pretty amazing. Okay, cars back there. And so, I guess it's better to be short than long, so I'll just try and hit a pitching wedge and see how we go, eh? Okay. Okay, I missed um, filming, well it's hard, pretty hard to film when you're only one person, no tripod. But I'm trying the best, try and stick some teas in the ground and hold the phone there and... So, looking around about 40, yeah. It's pretty short. 
<laughs> trying to be safe, but uh, yeah, not great. Oh well, hard to tell when you haven't got yardage. So I'm just going to chip, chip this up. I'm going to go with the bumping now. All right, that was actually worked out pretty well. Good wee bump and run. Uh, there is a chance for a par, which is nice. So, let's try and make that. Oh, sprinklers must have been on. Or maybe the dew on the ground, but... It's only just... 10 past 9 or something like that, but she's already pretty hot. Alright, that must be hole number 2, it flows around that way, that's quite cool. Alright, two box over here, nice. Oh well, I'm trying to put this in the... Well, we've got a bogey there. You gotta take that. No idea of yardage. So I was always gonna be short. So I didn't know what was happening at the top there. But we'll try and improve. Oh, hole number two is a par five. I'll flip you around. There you go. Look at this. Wow. It's pretty awesome. Par five, let's go. Alright, par five. Try and knock one down there. Okay, the thing about playing on these um, courses in Central and I'm playing here at the Kings and Lake Tikapo, Tikapo. Gotta say that right, pronounce it. Um, there's a lot of little holes dug by rabbits, and let's just say, put my foot in one just before, and I nearly ended the round right there. <laughs> Last thing I want to do is hobble home. Especially since we're still on holiday. I'm going to take the kids to the pool later. <sighs> but this is so stunning. Love it. Just enjoy being out here. So peaceful. Anyway. Hope you're enjoying this. It's just me out by myself. Talking to myself, me and the tussock, trying to find this ball. It's actually hard to see it off the tee. It's actually hard to see here. <laughs> okay, so. 
This one we hit two balls off the tee. <laughs> First one's over there somewhere. Hanging out with the tuss tussocks and rabbits. And second one is here, which just survived. And I've still got a long way to go. It's par five. I can't even see the flag. So I'm going to try and hit it up and over. Mm. Just try and play it safe, eh? <laughs> Not many balls in the bag, so... Okay. Get it up there for me, so hopefully we can see the flag once we get up there. Okay, so we hit my six iron, nice and safe, and what have we got here, someone's been out, <laughs> someone's been out hunting rabbits, don't know what calibre that is, looks like a, what's that, a little 22, yeah, Trying to keep them off the course, stop them from digging it up. Look at that. It's probably a rabbit's nest right there. Or whatever, whatever you call them. Was it burrow? Burrow. Someone will tell me. Comment below. Tell me what a rabbit's holes, uh, rabbit's home is called. We've got a wee way to go. Um... I have no idea where this hole goes. It looks like, by the way it's been mowing, it goes around to the right. And I'm sort of following it. I've sort of played really safe and put it to the left. Trying to stay out of the tussock because it's pretty hard to find the ball if you go in there. So, yeah. All right, down there is the green. Not sure what the yardage is. I'm gonna have a guess. Maybe a nine iron, maybe an eight iron. I'm sitting here. I have absolutely no idea. I'm gonna take a guess and hit this ball and hopefully it's the right club. Not sure what the blue rocks are called, meaning. Blue's normally 180, therefore I'm a long way out, but I don't think it's that far. Uh, anyway, I'm going to hit our 8 iron and see how far it goes. And hopefully I'm short and not out the back. Okay. Looks like another ball lost in this little rough area. Just, yeah, can't seem to find it. So, that's what we do, we practice, we film this. So I guess, try, I'll drop another ball and just try and finish off the hole. Alright, okay. So there was another ball lost, no good. Uh, bad news, lost the ball. Good news, found a ball. Not my ball, found someone else's ball. Someone else has been in this. Look at it. Anyway, we're off to a wee walk. To a wee walk. To hole number three. Okay, so we're on hole number three. Hole number three, par four. 326 meters. And it's downhill. Hmm. Do I go and try and clear the water? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Do you try that? I've already lost a couple of balls. Who cares? Let's do it. Hopefully we can clear the water. Hey, that's beautiful. It's a bit of a downhill walk. You've got to be careful. Don't trip up or step into these little rabbit holes. Oh, look at that. I think I carry the water. I'm not sure. 
and find out we took the risk. Hopefully we get the reward. <laughs> What's the saying go? Do the mahi, get the treats. <laughs> New Zealand saying, or Māori saying, I don't know. Mahi, meaning worth, do the work, get the reward. Well, even if it's gone in the water or into the reeds there, doesn't matter. I'm already rewarded with this beautiful view. Look at that. What a day. It's so peaceful out here. <clears throat> Don't know many places where you could go play a nine hole course and have no one else playing with you. Or even, you know, no greenkeepers around, no one. I mean, could have walked on and just played the course, but you know what? It's good to pay. Good to put the money in the box because here they have an honesty box and you know what every little bit helps helps to you know buy new equipment maintain the course don't know if anyone else has a course that, around their place that has an honesty box um, don't know if it's just purely a New Zealand thing comment below let us know where you're from and if they have an honesty box but I think it's still pretty cool that uh, we still have that you know you can still trust people to put their money in we all know there's people out there that don't though but you know majority of us put the money back in the money in to help these little clubs okay so I thought we lost it but I actually did carry it and it's actually rolled because the ground is actually harder than <laughs> it was pretty dry and you saw me before trying to get to you and so it's pretty dry dry and it's actually rolled out towards the lady that was here before walking the dog and it's probably why she left. <laughs> so I nearly because I didn't realise but uh, mm. look at that funky light. There it is. Alrighty. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let's get it on. Okay, I still had the 58 in my hand and I really should have just pulled out my little pitching wedge and did a bit of a bump and run. But hey, we get that sometimes. Hey? See if we can't make this putt. Let's get a chance for a par. Get it close to my heaven, a chance for a birdie. Alrighty. Alright, hole number four. Fantastic. Well, wasn't very fantastic before because that's a bogey. Nothing like a three putt. Don't know if I count the first one because I was off the green, but I'm going to count it because I putted it. Okay, let's have a look here. Oh, oh, this is a bit tempting. Par 4, 241 metres. All right. So, do we go for the green? Is the question. And it's not even a question, is it? We're going for the green. <laughs> Okay, had a nice drive. It's down there. Um, I think it actually went through the green. So I landed, hit the middle of the green and 
or maybe near the edge of the green and I think it's at the back and I think it may have gone through so we could be looking at a great shot or what is it lost ball number three lost ball number three this thing said